Hello everyone, this is Umut. Today's subject is how to pluck strings with slap bass. We will just correct our posture first. You will make your thumb parallel to the strings and make a fist. We will pluck with our index finger, just our index finger for now. You will go under the strings and pluck, okay? If you dig in too deep, use too much of your finger, you might hurt yourself. If you dig in too shallow, you might miss the string, okay? That's around the sweet spot. Under the strings. What I'm doing is I'm making a hook. I'm going under the string and plucking with my arm, not just with my index finger. Not this movement, but as a whole. My index finger is just like a hook. Now, our first exercise is just plucking. Let me play that first. Okay, that's about it. What I'm playing is 5th fret of the G string, the C, 7th fret, the D, 5th fret again, and the 7th fret of the D string. I'm not slapping any kind, any kind. I'm just plucking. My finger is like a hook, just my index finger. Okay, that's the exercise. If you do it faster, okay, that's how it sounds like. From the left hand side, I'm just covering with my thumb E and A strings, muting those strings with my thumb, and I'm using my index and ring fingers. to fret those strings. After you practice that, next step is combining our thumb with our plucking, obviously. What you'll practice is, firstly, the fifths. Play the fifth fret of the D string and the seventh fret of the G string. Slap the fifth fret, pluck the G string. First thing you want to practice is this. Then you will practice those inner strings, A and D strings. That might be harder on the plucking side. Okay, you don't want to hit the G string when you're plucking. When you're going under the D string, you don't want to hit the G string. Okay, just be careful about that. Finally, E and A strings. Next thing you'll practice is the octaves. Just play some octaves on A and G strings. Then the fifth fret, E and A string, E and D strings. Okay, those. Now we have another exercise for slap and pop motion. Let me play that first again. go faster now it's pretty straightforward what I'm playing is fifth fret of the D string and seventh fret of the G string slap the fifth fret pluck the G string seventh fret then I'm slapping the fifth fret and the seventh fret then I'm plucking the fifth fret Slap the 7th fret, 5th, and 7 again. Then the pattern repeats itself. You can just move this exercise to other frets, the other strings. get the idea. Alright, let's make a recap. Your posture is the most important thing you will concentrate on. 
What I mean by posture is, your thumb has to be parallel to the strings and you will make a fist. Okay, like this. Okay, second thing, you will not pluck with your finger, you will just make your finger, make your index finger like a hook and you will pluck with your whole arm. Third thing is, try not to hit when you're plucking the inner strings, try not to hit the other strings when you're trying to get under the desired string. Okay? The most common mistake is when you're trying to pluck the D string, you will hit G string or A and D or vice versa. Alright, that's about it. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.